Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 12th to November 18th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards guys, I want to remind you once again that this is just a general reading for Leo Star Sign and it's not your personal reading uh, therefore, in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, well that will be a subject of a personal reading, and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And also, as say the Christmas is um, is closing, is basically looming on the horizon. There is a Christmas sale <coughs> going on, or the holiday sale, um, as at the end of the year, uh, which is tied to the 20 minute service and it basically uh, gifts you a, a recorded answer to one question for everybody who um, purchased a, a 20 minute live, uh, live reading with me. Anyway, so uh, that's it aside, going to the weekly tarot reading first. Now the first card here of this four card spread is going to show you the topic of your Leo week and that is to be the five of pentacles. So for what it seems this ain't going to be much of a, a pleasant week because the five of pentacles in its generic representation and manifestation points to uh, difficulties that are to arise in multiple fronts. Now usually those difficulties are rather petite and rather milder, they are not something that simply ruins your work or uh, threatens severely your relationship uh, or, or in general placing you into a very discomfortable situation but in the same time as their appearance uh, and their uh, uh, quantity it's a bit overwhelming you may start feeling let's say a uh, you may start feeling threatened uh, like your plates a job for example uh, you may feel that it is threatened you may feel that your relationship is kind of slipping out of control etc etc but with this card the mental um, impl um <clears throat> mental amplification is um, it what takes the uh, the bigger portion of the insecurity aspect. So in other words, you think that you are insecure, but in reality, you know the case may not be that way. So it's very important when we're talking about here the uh, five of pentacles to have acute awareness of your surroundings and what is possible and what is not possible. Because one may think you know that is going to be fire, but if they try to be more grounded, you know, and see the situation instead of emotionally more uh, more mentally they are to see that that actually is not going to be the case so uh, mental virtue here uh, <clears throat> It's what should take place and uh, before you basically uh, impose any kind of uh, standpoints to yourself, you should uh, first think uh, very soberly over the situation and think it very thoroughly as well. <clears throat> In any case, all these predicaments or, or, or small, small problems appearing here and there can and should be overcome. The next card that we do have for you, Leo, this is to be the core of the situation and we do have the uh, the usual wall of the apprentice uh, that this card is appearing out because the three of pentacles points the very core of why the five of pentacles takes place and it, it, there are a couple of ways that this could manifest for some of you um, Leos those uh, predicaments are to arise it is because uh, you were you have laid a foundation of something like a relationship or like a, a new project all right, and now you uh, you have to face those things or those aspect of that relationship and this project that you didn't thought thoroughly uh, back then that you did have the support and you didn't feel the necessity you know to think of that far ahead but now as you are advancing forward you have to face those kind of aspect which appears to be rather aggravating and rather annoying to you and they come as their predicaments now <coughs> the uh the more worst case scenario here is, is that there are 
people which are trying to tell you what to do. Basically people that has no clue but it is trying to kind of uh, put a direction upon your agenda and upon your undertaking. Like for example, um, let's say, uh, just to give you an example here guys, uh, we do have someone who is a, a complete failure creating relationships and that same person is trying to give you advices, you know, and to point your direction how you should save your relationship and the worst thing is that they severely infiltrate in it in, in a sense of that they are severely influencing that particular thing or if uh, you are constructing a building here and you are the architect uh, <clears throat> the estate agent to tell you you know what kind of uh, foundations you need to put to that uh, particular building and uh, how the building needs to be constructed in general basically people who has no clue uh what your situation is and and and, and uh, what uh, you know what your field of expertise is all about to give you uh, an advice or rather like to ask you do things which are completely impossible at that particular point and this is to cause those minor I uh, um <clears throat> those minor predicaments how this could be overcome well simply try to place those people in the places that they belong do not allow them to trespass a certain boundaries now the next card that we do have this is to show the um, <clears throat> challenges which are causing predicaments I do believe that it is the second uh, by seeing that card I do believe that this is the second manifestation which we do have people trying to tell you what to do while they have no clue what <clears throat> what the thing is all about in general well this car points that you are tied to those people and, and basically you cannot simply cut them off but in the same time instead of uh, <clears throat> you know the whole team uh, it, it work against one another it will be um, beneficial if everybody minds their own business it's basically what this ten of pentacles here is showing that everybody needs to look at their personal business uh, what they are good at and advance into this uh, in, into this specific direction and the challenge here is for you to to organize those people which are involved into your situation to do exactly what they are supposed to do to mind as they said their own business and not to to kind of poke their noses into the other people specialization if I may express myself that way because again they first embarrassing themselves and second it's the only thing that they do they are causing a, a minor issues minor predicaments either into one relationship or either into one pro uh, project or career in relationship you know that could be a uh, for example a friend of your partner which is basically poking their nose into the relationship causing problems in between you and your partner for example, you acted one way and that specific friend of your partner tell them is telling them that this is not how you should have acted, you know, but in reality they don't know what the core of the situation were and uh, that's why they have no right to speak. So something like this could be the unfoldment here which causes, you know, uh, again, a small issue, small difficulties which has to be addressed st um, straight away and they can be completely, completely resolved. You need to know here with the Three of Pentacles <clears throat> as a core is that if you kind of like uh, be determined to uh, to work out um, whatever you're trying, you know, to materialize, manifest or, or, or stabilize, etc, etc. You are to receive the support from the people which wants to see the same thing moving on. So, uh, or moving forward. So, it's, it's not like those who are investing are against you. It is basically those who are around you uh, does not give you any easy time. And the last card that we do have, this is to be the... Oh, wow, this is to be the King of Swords, man. Okay, so the King of Swords, the advice of Tarot, the King of Swords, I will try to explain you the King of Swords into this um, follow-up. That is you, Leo, and the King of Swords completely disregards the needs of everybody around them. The King of Swords is all about making the machine moving, making the world moving. So if something is good for the project itself, for the relationship itself, you are should gladly take it. But if something is not good for that, but it serves only one side of the matter, then you should completely disregard it. I mean, with this, you don't have to be liked by the people. As a matter of fact, 
are people liking you or not should be the least of your concern here but all that is all that matters is is the job are going to be completed is the job will be done at time and at it's uh, maximum capacity should i say that way if not there obviously some dead burdens needs to be cut it off and you hold the sword here with the means necessary to cut these people off and you should use all of your power knowledge and skills to do so don't get me wrong you know if uh, these people doesn't go against you and they collaborate with you you can make a good theme i mean they can be of uh, of use of you and you can be in use of them <clears throat> but uh, if they kind of mess up with your performance and with your job the only thing that they are going to cause are predicaments and further down the road your wrath this is what it seems so let's see what the Lenormand cards are having to say here for uh, this specific week for you Leo now the Lenormands are to show us a uh, event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid so the first card that we do have this is the Mises now the Mises again stands for deterioration uh, hidden problems or small problems as well that are escalating and uh, something rotten eaten from within then the next one this is to be the child so the, the child stands for children but also stands for petite as I said small problems is what we do have here and the small problems is what the, the Lenormand cards are showing so kind of like a reassurance that we do have from these cards and at the end we do have the clouds now cloud stands for confusion vagueness uh, drifting apart from the right path etc etc so for what it seems those problems here I could say that they are consciously made so they so those problems can um, can drift can, can traverse you from the right path that you have consciously taken so uh, what I can um, conclude here from this reading Leo is is that if you do face resistance from your co colleagues or from your friends or from the friends of your partner etc you are on the right path if you face no resistance whatsoever then people are completely comfortable with where you're heading knowing that you are to either fail or do something for, with a that is a um, I can't say terrible mistake but something which is not in your favor but in their favor so wherever you face resistance you have to push very hard and as I say hard disregarding any kind of mm, sense of, of pity sense of mercy and it's all about making the machine working so that being said, Leo, this was your uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November uh, 12th to November 18, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And um, again, this was just a general reading for Leo Star Sign, and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, here I explained you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!